show. I'm so happy to have you all here today. This is going to be such a fantastic show. Guess what is making its not debut, but you've seen this a few times if you've been watching for a little while. Yeah, we're going to be talking poop again just a little bit. We have some new topics that we haven't discussed before. We're talking about vitamin D. This is an essential and crucial time of year, depending on where you live in terms of your vitamin D. So we're going to be talking about that and why that is so important and how to optimize your vitamin D. And how do you know that your vitamin D is low? Besides getting a blood test, how would you know that you could be low in vitamin D and all the symptoms that can manifest when you are deficient in vitamin D? This is a huge, huge topic, really important, and this is something that I'm going to be sharing with you. I'm so excited. We're also coming back. We had coming back, no pun intended, to the back. We're talking about back pain today and disc pain. So if you've ever suffered, I've gone through this. I don't know about you. Put a one in the comments. If you've ever had a disc issue, back pain in your life, please put a one in the comments. I'm so happy to have you all here. And I'm going to come and say hello to who's here in just a second. So we're going to be talking about disc pain as well. I'm going to be doing a great exercise for your back to help to strengthen your back, which is amazing. We're talking PCOS. So a lot of the women were asking about PCOS. So I'm going to give you my tips on PCOS. Huge topic as well. A huge percentage of women, unfortunately, suffer with PCOS symptoms. And we're going to be coming back to the beauty set talking about under eye circles and bags under the eyes I've got a great hack for you which you will absolutely love so hello hello say hello it's nice to have you all here thank you for tuning in and I know that you okay dinky girl from Minnesota it's nice to see you Jerry hello good morning good morning team and of course my team is here today and I'm not supposed to say anything yet but we have some special surprises happening in today's show which is going to be amazing so please Please share with five people right now, 10 people if you can. Just hit that share button with your best friends or even people that you barely know on your social media. Please share. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel as well and please follow. So if you're here for the first time, you are in for a treat. This is going to be a great show. Lots of, you know, fun stuff and surprises happening behind the scenes, which I'm super excited about. And some reveals of some things that have been happening in the news lately. Yes, Dr. Janine has been in the news and I am so excited about that. Okay, so if you did miss last week's show we talked about the problem with laxatives that was a huge topic and I really didn't realize how many people actually have laxative issues and rely on laxatives so we dispelled some of those myths and I gave some great suggestions as what to, you can do instead of laxatives which was amazing we talked about cellulite yes we did we also talked about migraine headaches we talked about gut health last week as well and just saying did you see this in the Daily Post. So this is the Daily Mail post from the UK. Guess what this is? I am a naturopathic doctor. Yes, I am. And that is me. Yes, I was in the news. So exciting. And it was actually one of our viewers Lee for free who let us know Please. saw this Please. in the Please UK and th that was fantastic that we were able to and this is the video that went viral again things that can help to make you poop instantly. So isn't that interesting? So yay! And hello, hello to everybody else who's here. Carlos, hello, nice to see you. And Heckbaum, next, nice to see you. And Am, nice to see you as well. Mary, Vicky is here. Sally's in the house. If you're here for the first time, please put a one in the comments. And hey, just put some hearts in there because I wanna say that everybody's in a good mood today, right? And everybody's looking forward to today's show. I know, I'm so super excited. Now, now this is some more super exciting news. News. Guess what? Vita Tree is here in the house today. And of course, Vita Tree is the sponsor of the Dr. Janine Show. We couldn't do this show every week, week in and week out, every Tuesday going live. We couldn't do it if we didn't have Vita Tree. So thank you to Vita Tree. But Vita Tree is wanting us to hit some goals today. I mentioned this briefly last week. Yeah, I got that little message in the ear that, yeah, we got to hit some goals today. So if we can get our goal of reaching 200 shares collectively, so that's why I want you just banging out that share button right now. I want you to be clicking that as fast as you can. I'm gonna be checking in on our shares where we're at. Then we have some special surprises and this is across all our platforms. So I want you to like, I want you to share, I want you to be super active, put, give you that finger a workout today in terms of sharing today's live. And 
this is where that surprise is going to be revealed if we can get there. So I need your help, guys, to support me, to support the channel, of course, in supporting the Dr. Janine Show. Let's show VitaTree that we love what we do here, and it's going to be a great show, okay? So we'll keep you updated. Thank you for the shares. I see that, Ms. Tina Heckbone. Thank you. And Mike W., thank you for the shares that are coming in. Thank you for the new subscribers and all the hearts coming in as well. So early in the morning. I love this, love this. Okay, awesome. So now let's talk a little bit about that disc pain. I'm going to take and this was one of the, the questions that I asked last week. Okay, I'm getting my muscle workout. Ricky's actually quite heavy. Um, but we're going to be talking about disc pain. And this is our spine. Ricky, if you haven't met Ricky yet, here he is. But that disc pain, if you've ever gone through disc pain, this is something that is super painful. It's something that I actually went through. I was training with the trainer, I'm going to say about five years ago. I had a trainer at the gym. I was doing my thing and was doing a, a weighted squat with the big bar, you know, the 45 pound bar with weights on the end. So I don't know what I was thinking, but anyways. And my back, I guess, was just getting there and I could feel something when I was doing the squats. But you know what put me out? going and doing groceries later that day. So I was okay. I got to the gym. I was mobile. I was okay. Went and did my groceries later in the day. And just the emotion of putting the grocery bags from the cart into my trunk, pop, and I felt something and that was it. And it was a week before going away on vacation with the family. It was horrendous. But luckily, I have a lot of natural tools in my bag to be able to help and with disc pain. And these are some of the things that we're going to talk about now, if we look at the discs in the body, the normal discs are like a donut. So they're in between, of course, our vertebrae, which is so important. Now, what happens over time and when they become degenerative is that they get squished. So you know like when you have a nice fluffy s'mores, you've got that marshmallow, it's all nice and puffed up from the fire. Imagine squishing that s'mores down to eat it when you take your bite. That's what happens with our discs is that they get compressed. And this is something that over time can cause that degeneration and that shrinking of your spine. So let's talk about my tips. So how are we going to prevent this? And prevention is always, always better than cure when we're especially talking about our back. So tip number one is to do exercise. Yeah, you've got to keep that mobility going. One of my favorite exercises in yoga is the downward dog. So if you're not yet doing the downward dog, I want you to start practicing this every single day, especially if you know that you've got issues with your back, you've got to do that downward dog. How many people love downward dog? I don't think there's a downward dog emoji, is there? No, probably not. But please, and thank you, Robinson. Thank you for the follow. Amazing. Nice to see you, Julie Blue. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to have you here. Thank you for tuning in. And AV1, nice to see our AV. You put a one in the comments. Thank you. And can herniated discs go away? Absolutely. So that's the question that's coming in. Can this protrusion of that disc actually go away, yes, it can heal. So let's keep going and talking about, you know, what are other things that we can do? So hydration, and let's go to tip number two for that disc pain is proper hydration. So if you missed my previous episode, when we talked about that Soleil water, that's really important because that Soleil water is one of those key things that can help with hydration because of course it has the minerals in it. And that's something that with those extra minerals, that's going to bring that water into your tissues, into your discs, which will help to keep that nice donut. Remember that nice fluffy marshmallow in the, in the s'mores. Okay, number three, another tip for disc pain is to make sure you're getting some red light from the sun, ideally from the sun, of course, in the winter time, if there's not a lot of sun exposure that you can be getting, you are putting red lights whenever you can. So this is actually, what I don't know, this is, I didn't plan for this, but let's see if I can do, oh yes, I got them off. Okay, so what I do, so imagine this is me, and of course, not just my spine, but what I do is whenever that sun, so when you feel that heat of the sun, that radiation from the sun, that hot, hot red sun, I love to do this as the sun is setting out on a beach or by the pool or even in the backyard at any time, I expose my back to the sun because that red, the, the heat that you're feeling is the infrared. Ever heard of an infrared sauna? Yeah, that's going to help to heal the discs as well as making sure that that red light, so that red wavelength of light, that's why red light therapy is so helpful for pain and inflammation and our collagen and our skin. But I make sure that I expose my spine 
to that sunlight. So, so important. And the hotter that sunlight, the better, because you're gonna sweat a little bit, helps with that, and just making sure that you're always hydrated. But that's what I do. So when I suntan, just a little aside, when I suntan, I always, you know, tan my back so I'm face down. See, Ricky, do you like being upside down? <laughs> there we go. All right, so making sure that that sun is hitting your back, super important. Okay, can I get this back up? Let's see, yeah. All right, we got it. Thank you, Ricky, thank you. Okay, so sun and red light therapy, especially on your back. And number four, omega-3 fats. So eating more seafood and maybe taking an omega-3 supplement that's high in that DHA, really important. And this is actually found in the research. So when we take a look at this study, and they talked about the, having the potential of those omega-3 fats to protect the progression of the spinal disc degeneration. One of the reasons why I take my fish oil supplement every single day, and I always take mine in the morning. There you go, super, super important that you are hydrating, and of course, internal hydration with your water, but your omega-3 fats will help to maintain that proper spacing in your spine for that disc and to help to protect from that disc bulging out, which is super, super painful. Okay, there we go. What is the Soleil water? Esbraham, that's something that we talked about. And yes, it does have have the sea salt that's added into it, the Soleil water. It's something that we have that recipe. I don't know if we can pull it up, maybe towards the end of the show. And don't forget, we've got quiz questions coming up today too. It's a very interactive show. So if you're here for the first time, and I know a lot of people are, you put a one in the comments, that this is super interactive. You have ability to win a prize. I'm going to mention that in a second. We're going to mention last week's winner as well. But let's talk about PCOS. Okay, and we're gonna go back over there because I am gonna share one of my favorite exercises for strengthening the body and all the muscles that it helps as well. So we're gonna be going back over there. But PCOS, okay, so I had so many questions from women about PCOS and worldwide this affects six to 10% of women of childbearing age. That's a huge percentage, think about that. And it does affect fertility, so this is often why you know, you're going to the doctor and like, hey, what's going on? I can't get pregnant because of you know, the hormones are unbalanced and with that PCOS. Now, what are the causes of PCOS? Let's go through some of them. One of them is internal toxicity. And yes, that can be in any of the internal organs. This is Lucy, if you, we just met Ricky. If you're here for the first time, this is Lucy. Say hello, hi, Lucy. Are you in a good mood today? I hope so. Lucy's gonna be a busy girl today and later on today. So you better be in a good mood. All right, good, yeah, I'm getting good vibes off of Lucy today. Is everybody? Yeah, okay, good. Okay, so this is really important because that internal organ toxicity is something that can really be problematic in terms of being a causative factor in terms of PCOS, so that's really important, as well as insulin resistance. So when your blood glucose levels are not where they should be with insulin resistance, this is a big problem. So we have to find that balance with our insulin and also our leptin resistance. So does everybody know what leptin resistance is? I think so, if you've watched my programs before. So thank you for everybody who's here today. Please share and subscribe. It's so great to have you all here today, continuing the conversation all about natural health. I'm Dr. Janine. Great to have you all here today. So thank you for all the follows and the subscribes. Awesome, awesome. Okay, leptin resistance. Have you met me before? Have you heard me talk about leptin resistance? I think you have. And if you're new here, don't worry. You're going to learn all about this. It's so important that we are balancing our leptin levels. It has a lot to do with hormonal weight gain, our hormones being out of, out of balance, as well as infertility issues. Our insulin, usually the leptin resistance happens first, and then you get the insulin resistance, okay? So this is really, you gotta get this under control. I've got lots of videos on how to do that, and my tips for leptin resistance, please make sure after today's live that you're gonna go and check those out, okay? And, okay, so what are the symptoms? Let's go through some of the symptoms of that PCOS. So whether it's high testosterone levels. So remember, this is affecting, that's why you get the dark hair growth and things because the high testosterone. It could be the, and the insulin resistance like we talked about. Leptin resistance should actually be here on here as well. Fatigue, lack of energy, acne, right? Okay, mood changes, absolutely. Trouble with fertility and conceiving, excessive body hair growth weight changes and difficulty losing weight because of that PCOS. Can I have Mr. Fat, please, real quick? Mr. Fat, thank you. <laughs> and so difficulty losing that weight. Okay, see, when I call for things, I get them. Thank you very much. So if you have difficulty, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 pounds, 
PCOS and your hormones being out of balance could be a huge issue. And that's why fixing that leptin resistance that we talked about, super important to get this all under control. Ovarian cysts, of course, that's why it's called polycystic ovarian syndrome. Low sex drive, so affecting testosterone and the other hormones, irregular and missed periods. That's why the fertility now is a problem with PCOS because these, of course, if you're not having regular cycles, then you're going to have difficulty with having, you know, proper ovulation on the certain cycle, which by the way, is related back to your leptin and your circadian rhythms. So you see how this all comes full circle. And this is not what you've heard before. This is, you know, yeah, go to the doctor, take something to balance your blood sugar levels. But it's so much more than that. And that's why we have to get at the root cause. And that's what I'm all about as a naturopathic doctor. And this is what I always have done with my patients over the years, getting at the root cause you treat that root cause, then all of these accessory symptoms go away, which is so important, okay? And male pattern baldness, thinning hair can also happen with PCOS. So don't forget, guys. And here, let me throw Mr. Fat back. All right, we are trying to hit some goals here today because we've got some very special surprises coming up. So make sure you hit that share button right now. We're, hit, we're hitting some live goals today. We gotta hit them, guys, we gotta do it. VitaTree is in the house and they've got a surprise for us if we can get there. So please hit that share. Thank you for the follows as well. And Lacey, you shared. Thank you so much for sharing. So many of you are sharing right now. Hit that share with a few people on your list, five, 10, 15. I don't know how many people that you follow or that you, you know, can share this with but please do it and help to support the channel. Thank you, thank you. I'm so excited because today is a very special show. Okay, now what are we going to talk about? We will be coming back and remember, I'm gonna be sharing that back strengthening exercise. If you're just tuning in now, we're talking about the back and disc pain and back pain as well. But let's talk about my tips now. So what are we doing in terms of helping our PCOS? So, and we will be talking about vitamin D coming up as well. So super important this time of year, vitamin D deficiency. Okay, PCOS, let's come back to this. Tip number one, fix that leptin resistance. So one of my tips here, eat a big breakfast. Don't do the intermittent fasting. Don't skip your breakfast. Eat a big healthy breakfast, okay? No snacking between meals is another point here with fixing your leptin resistance, as well as having that natural sunlight exposure. You've got to see as close to sunrise as possible. You got to see that sunrise. That's going to help your circadian rhythms, help your leptin signaling, okay? Those are just some of the tips. I've got other ones as well on my other posts. Okay, tip number two, Stop, and some of you aren't gonna like this with the PCS, okay? Stop drinking the juice. So no more juice, no more wine, no more alcohol. You gotta get that insulin under control, especially that fructose is gonna spike your blood glucose levels really bad for PCOS. Okay, tip number three, doing that full body detox. Remember we talked about that toxicity thing happening with that one of the causes of PCOS? Yeah, that's important. You got to do that full body detox. And there are specific herbal medicines that I've talked about a lot in terms of being able to detox all of those internal organs at once in a safe and effective way. And it's super, super gentle as well. Okay, tip number four, magnesium bisglycinate. So magnesium is important because it helps with our carbohydrate metabolism. So this is super important to be able to make sure that we're optimizing our magnesium. Most people are very magnesium deficient. Okay. Tip number five, here we go with PCOS, coenzyme Q10. So that is a specific supplement. Now make sure when you're looking for a CoQ10 that it doesn't have any fillers or flow agents and none of the junk that shouldn't be in your vitamins, of course. That's something that I've talked about in other episodes as well. But in one study, it was found that CoQ10 has been found beneficial for women with PCOS and helps with the fasting blood glucose levels and insulin levels as well. So that is really promising to know that this is actually, and this is quite recent, I mean 2019, that coenzyme Q10, because it is you know, one of these things that is so important for our energy production, that it, and it helps with that shuttling of our electrons and our mitochondria so important that we're optimizing CoQ10 when you may have the symptoms of PCOS, okay? Okay, tip number six is doing the castor oil pack. So if you've seen my other posts, those castor oil packs, really important that you can place on the abdomen, especially if you're having painful periods and things with your PCOS, you're gonna put your castor oil pack on the abdomen, ideally, you know, for 45 minutes minimum with a hot water bottle, let that 
warm up and it helps to detoxify, helps to get your liver going as well, is really soothing and penetrates very de deeply. It's one of the best things for PCOS, okay? And let's talk about number seven, which is herbal medicines. So things to help to balance your blood glucose levels, things like African wild mango, gymnema, muscat and grape skins, they are known and proven to help with not only your insulin and your blood glucose levels, but also helps with leptin and balancing and stabilizing your leptin. So that's super, super important. I want you to screenshot that if you have the ability to do it really quickly so that you've got it. And there we go. Okay, VitaTree is reminding me we have a huge surprise coming for today's live and in the live only because if we reach 200 shares collectively, we are going to have a big surprise. Okay, so let's get hit that share button, please. Oh, yes. I think some people even know what that surprise is because I'm seeing some comments. Emma, I see that. Thank you for sharing. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you for the shares. I know so many of you are sharing right now. So hit that share button. It's so much fun. And I know I don't know how fast you can tap that thing. I love joining in on lives and hitting all these things during other people's lives. It's amazing. It's so much fun because you're in on the action. Don't forget, we have some quiz questions coming up as well. Okay. Let's go and talk about some back strengthening exercise. And it's one of my favorite things to do, which you're gonna love. We're gonna go over here, and we're also gonna be talking about some of the side effects of having a fatty liver. So I get so many questions on social media about fatty liver, and we're gonna talk a little bit about that. We'll be talking about vitamin D as well. But let's talk about strengthening the back, because as much as it's great to do the hydration and getting the red light and all those things that we talked about, we have to make sure that we're keeping the strength in our back. And if we look at the musculature that surrounds the spine, so let's look over here, both front and back. So here, of course, is the spine. So Ricky, yes, there you are. On the back side, you can see the huge muscles in the back. We want to help to strengthen those, plus stabilizing from the ground up is really important. So all of our leg muscles help to stabilize our spine as well, our gluteus. Yes, the gluteus maximus, minimus, helps with stabilizing the spine, even the upper musculature, so our shoulders, our biceps, everything helps to stabilize. The spine is at our core, at our center. We have to stabilize all these major muscle groups. Even on the front, so our quadriceps muscles, we have to stabilize. Our abs are our greatest stabilizer for our spine. So if you have weak abs, you're gonna have a weak back, I'm just gonna say, okay? So this is something that's super important. Let me share this exercise with you. So if you're familiar with the goblet squat, does anybody know what this is? So this is so, so easy to do. But your first mission when you pick up the kettlebell, or it could be a weight, or it could be a soup can, it could be a water bottle, I don't care what it is. You could do this without a weight as well. Your first mission is to contract your abs. You gotta be really tight in your core because remember those muscles are stabilizing your entire spinal column, okay? So what you're gonna do is a squat. So this is a goblet squat and a press. What you're gonna do is squat down. So you gotta stick your backside, so your buttocks back. You're trying to go down as such and then you're going to do a press. So the press part is above the head. So you can imagine it's a little challenging. With all my, there we go, with all my cords and things on. But here we go, all right. So you're gonna do 10 reps like that. And don't go too, too heavy, depending on how strong or weak your back is. You're gonna repeat that and do, if you could do 10 reps and repeat that three times, amazing. Take a little break in between, make sure you've got proper hydration. But that goblet squat, if you can imagine, is really targeting uh, any part of a squat is going to target your, of course, your, your quadriceps muscles and your gluteus on the back side, but also keeping, remember, keep those abs tight when you're doing this. Also your shoulders, your pecs. I mean, it's a full body workout. Do it with a weight. You're going to love it. Okay. Does everybody love that? And who loves to work out with weights? I, I don't know. As a woman, especially, so it's super important as we're aging that we are optimizing our muscle function. Okay. We're at quiz question number one. Is everybody ready? Woohoo. All right. Let's go. Okay. It's quiz time. And this week we're playing for, remember our sponsor, VitaTree is in the house. Don't forget that. We're playing for the VitaTree vitamin D3. Are we ready? Are we ready? Is everybody ready? Okay, so this is how it goes. We've got a few quiz questions every show. 
you just got to put your answer in. Even if your answer isn't right, it doesn't matter. You still could randomly be selected as one of our winners, okay? So I hope you're paying attention to the info that we've had so far. Quiz question number one, we're playing for the vitamin D3 from our great sponsor at VitaTree. Are we ready? Name a cause of PCOS. You've got 30 seconds. Put your answers in the comment section right now. All right, let's go. Good, good, good. Is everybody getting their answers in? Okay, we've got about 10 seconds left. Everybody's... Okay, don't forget we have a big surprise coming with a coupon code coming up. Yes, you guessed it if you're just tuning in right now. But before I reveal... Okay, did we see the answer? Oh, no, 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 no. Before I reveal the answer, please share. Everybody share today's live, okay? Everybody hit, click that share. Yes, we do have a coupon code coming up from VitaTree. I think we're getting close to our share button. I need to see, can I see my, my tablet, please? And let's see what's going on behind the scenes. I'm super excited. Now, before I show the answer, did everybody do a share? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, Emma, you are on top of things. Hey, Emma, that's amazing. Emma like is right on top of things. Okay, are we ready? Yes, some of the causes. The answer are leptin resistance. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I see all those hearts coming in. Thank you so much. Okay, leptin resistance, yes. Insulin resistance, toxicity, I saw a lot of you, and Nisa also talked about vitamin D deficiency, I like that, that's amazing, 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 hormone imbalance, Amaravathi, good job, uh, Rocio, Elizabeth, homeschool mama, yes, you guys are amazing, good job, okay, thank you for the follow, guys, we do this every Tuesday, if you're here for the first time, I'm guessing if you're following now, that yeah, and if you're just subscribing right now, you're seeing this live for the first time, we do this every Tuesday, we do the live Dr. Janine show, supported by our great sponsors at VitaTree, and we have a lot of fun, we do quiz questions, there's a couple more quiz questions coming up with an opportunity and thank you for everybody who is here. Okay, we have hit one milestone already. All right, woo woo. I think some people might be getting that little surprise today. So isn't that amazing? Okay, so that's, that's coming up. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, so let's congratulate last week's winner of the VitaTree turmeric. It's Ram Matchmaker. Congratulations, Ram Matchmaker. You were the winner of our turmeric. Make sure you are following Team Dr. J9 on different platforms so that we can reach you if you are, you are one of our lucky winners. All right, awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, let's now talk about vitamin D and vitamin D deficiency symptoms. So this is something that we will be talking about some tips how to increase our vitamin D. But let's go through this chart really quickly because vitamin D deficiency, especially this time of year, is something that we definitely want to be aware of. And what are some of the symptoms? So when we look at, you know, weak teeth, and gums, as that's related to your calcium not getting into your bones and your teeth, really important with vitamin D deficiency that you know, you're not manifesting this. This could be in your kids as well. Lung infections, so this is something that, yeah, we've definitely heard about that in the last few years, haven't we? So keeping our lungs healthy, optimizing our vitamin D levels, super important for our immune system. High blood glucose levels, so yeah, with PCOS, this is one of those things that's related into having PCOS. If you're just tuning in now, we just did a whole little section on, on PCOS. Of course, you can reference back the show because it does live on certain platforms. You can go back and watch it again if you missed this, the section that we talked about PCOS. But high blood glucose levels is related to that PCOS, but vitamin D deficiency as well. Weak bones, again, that calcium has to deposit into the bones. It needs vitamin D to be able to do that. Fatigue, depression, low mood. Yes, you get those blahs in the middle of winter, like mid-February here in Canada. Everybody's like down in the dumps feeling not so great. That, again, vitamin D deficiency. High blood pressure as well. So vitamin D has a lot to do with our vasculature. And muscle aches. And guess what? Back pain. So that's why I wanted to make sure that we talked about vitamin D today because we are focusing on back pain a little bit. And we previously talked about disc pain and what you can do, exercises for that back. But this is so important. That back pain can be a chronic vitamin D deficiency. I can't tell you how many patients that I've had over the years that 
living here in Canada, I mean, really common to have a vitamin D deficiency in other parts of the world as well, not just here, of course, in most parts of the US. If you're watching, please let me know where everybody is from. Hey, if you're at the border, uh, at the equator, and you get out in the sun, then you don't have a vitamin D problem, do you? Well, a lot of people, unfortunately, and the, the statistics are staggering because I've looked at different African countries, the vitamin D deficiency is very high in a lot of these African countries because people are covered up. They don't go outside and actually optimize. They don't like the sun, a lot of them. They don't go outside and optimize their vitamin D. So this is really, really important. If somebody's in Florida, I hope, Tammy, that you're out in the sun every single day. And yes, and DB Hel, is it Helgeson? Uh, in West Palm Beach, I hope that you're out on that beach every single day and getting your natural sunlight exposure to optimize your vitamin D, okay? So really important. Now, in case you missed it, maybe you haven't seen this. So this is one of the other things is getting gray hair can be related to low vitamin D and a vitamin D deficiency. Now, maybe you haven't yet seen this video, super popular, of myself talking about how to prevent that gray hair. So please make sure that you check it out. That's a fantastic video and you will absolutely love it. Okay, so let's talk about our viewers spotlight. So every week we shout out someone who's shared some positive feedback on the channels that of course for the Dr. Jeanine show and all of my Dr. Jeanine content. So thank you to, and our viewer spotlight was smiling is contagious. I love your handle name. Thank you so much for saying this. Thank you, Dr. Jeanine. I'm so grateful for the content you share. Thank you so much. Smiling is contagious. Yes, it is, isn't it? So I hope everybody's smiling right now. That puts a smile on my face. And let's go into the kitchen because we're going to talk about that fatty liver and its effects on the body. Please share with 10 people in your contacts, at least right now. Hey, if you could share with 20, I'd appreciate it because we're trying to reach those goals today, aren't we? And we're almost there. I think we're almost there. I, I don't know. You got to get it on there for me. I know that we're getting close to that live goal, but here we go. Let's talk about if you've got that fatty liver. So what is a fatty liver? That's fat has infiltrated the liver. It's super, super common. There's different causes of this, uh, of having that fatty liver, like fructose. So if you have too much you know, sugar and fruit juices and things, that's gonna spike your blood glucose levels. That's gonna cause more of that fatty liver. But, and we will be talking about vitamin D and tips to increase your vitamin D. So I'm coming back to that in just a second. But with this fatty liver, did you know that one to four adults in the US have a fatty liver? That's huge. I mean, there's three people in this room right now and more in the control room. That means somebody's got a fatty liver, but here at the Dr. Jean Show, of course, nobody has a fatty liver because we're all so super uber healthy, right? But this is something that we have to know that we're gonna, if you do have a fatty liver and this has been diagnosed for you, that you're going to have a slower conversion uh, to your active vitamin D. So you could be having a vitamin D deficiency, which isn't gonna help your fatty liver, and that vitamin D deficiency can be manifest in a lot of those symptoms that we just talked about of low vitamin D. Maybe your hair is turning gray because of a vitamin D deficiency. Maybe you've got the back pain because of vitamin D deficiency. Maybe you've got that fatty liver and you're not converting into that active vitamin D, okay? So that's one thing. And you could also, oh, my poops. I need my poops, please. Oh, sorry, in case you're tuning in for the first time, you're like, I'm calling for poops? Like, what is this? I have a poop platter. If you've not yet seen me on social media, yes, this is the famous poop, poop platter that made me famous on TikTok. And just gonna say that when you've got lighter colored poops, and thank you for bringing that in, lighter colored poops, that could be an indication of a fatty liver as well because your bile isn't properly excreted. Maybe you've got gallbladder issues as well. So lighter floating poops can be an indication of that fatty liver, okay? So, and maybe you're not converting your vitamin D as you should. Your poops should be a nice dark brown color like this. Okay, so had to get that poop in there. <laughs> okay, the other problem is if you've got a lot of central obesity, so you've got a lot of body fat, belly fat, that can also slow down your conversion to your active form of your vitamin D. So that's important as well. You could have that vitamin D deficiency because you have more of that central obesity. So this is something that I wanna talk about, that helping with that fatty liver, one of the only things that helps is actually, that's been studied, that helps is turmeric and curcumin. 
So it's something that we talked about last week. Last week we made the delicious, delicious recipe, that my golden milk recipe. If you missed it, maybe we can pull it up towards the end of the show. Amazing, amazing. I hope that some of you have made it in the last week. Thank you, Fatima, and blessful for, thank you for all the follows, and I see all of that happening. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know we're trying to reach some goals today. Oh, we do have the golden milk recipe, so let's pull this up really quickly if you missed it. How many, put a two in the comments if you were able to make that in the last week. Hello, somebody is here from Zakanji in from Switzerland. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. So amazing. Please hit that share button. I want to have at least 10 more shares out of each and every one of you. Please hit that share button. We're trying to reach that live goal today so that we can give you a special surprise from our sponsors at VitaTree. They're in the house, and so the pressure's on me. I gotta do good, guys, so please hit that share button. Please hit it like 10 times, 20 times, whatever you can. And thanks for all the new follows as well. We do this every Tuesday at this time slot. Thank you for tuning in. Hope, I'm so glad that you love this show. That's so kind of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so here's our golden milk recipe. We made this last week. Delicious. I hope that you've been making it. Did anybody say that they've been making it? I'm getting distracted here, yes? You have made it? All right, I hope so. Lori, you love the poop plate? I know, isn't it fun, the poop platter? Okay, so all you're doing is you're mixing in your turmeric curcumin and you're gonna choose your warm milk. You mix that in, a little bit of cinnamon on top and some honey, absolutely delicious. So if you wanna take a quick screen grab of that, you've got it. Okay, I see those shares coming in. We're almost there, guys. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness, so many more coming in right now. Thank you for sharing. Please share some more, please share. Even if you've shared 10, 20 times, I'm sure you've got at least, you know, how many people in your list that you could share to? 50 people, thank you, thank you. I see them, they're coming in fast now. I love that, awesome, awesome. And all those hearts coming in as well, thank you so much. Okay, so let's talk about my tips for vitamin D, optimizing our vitamin D levels. Well, what can we do? And we will be going to the beauty set in just a second. We also have a couple more quiz questions coming up. So you still have an opportunity to, to, to win if you're here for the first time. Thank you for hitting HT12. Thank you for hitting that share button. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so let's talk about vitamin D and optimizing that. We will be talking about under eye bags in just a second. We're going to the beauty set, but here we go. Vitamin D tips right now. You've got a small window of opportunity, depending on where you live. So if you're at a higher latitude, if you're not near the equator, I know a lot of you are closer to the equator than what I am right now, and I'm super jealous, but this is important. You want to optimize your sun exposure right now. You want to get as much sun as you possibly can in the next two to three weeks, because after that sun goes away, there's something called the zenith angle of the sun you're not gonna have an opportunity to, for that UVB to be able to make your vitamin D on your skin, okay? So we have a window of opportunity right now. Where I live, it's about three weeks out that I've got max to make some vitamin D on my skin. So what do I do whenever I have the chance? Yes, when I'm in the office, it's hard, but I go out at lunchtime, even if I get 15 minutes on my arms and I hike up my pants and try to expose as much skin as possible. On the weekends, I'm out there, full bikini, sunning myself to get as much as possible. So your goal here right now, because of that zenith of the angle of the sun, when that zenith angle is at 90 degrees, sun is above, so depending on where you are right now in the world, you're getting lots of UVB. As that angle, and as our seasons change, so going into winter, that angle of the sun, and you've probably noticed, depending on where you live, that that angle, the shadows are a little bit different now, depending on where you live. I never used to pay attention to any of this stuff until I started to really study and delve into and writing my next book now, all about the circadian rhythms and why that's so important. So now at that zenith angle, we have to make sure that we're optimizing because we can't get it. When it hits a certain angle, we can't get that UVB anymore. So mid-October to about mid-March in Canada, no UVB to make vitamin D3, scary stuff. So your goal right now, number one for vitamin D is to get as much sunlight as possible. And that means getting a tan. And I want your tan, I want you to still have tan lines by Christmas. Hey, if your tan lines are gonna get into you into January, February, awesome but get the darkest tan that you can. And I don't care what color your skin is. Everybody can get a tan. The darker, the better. Okay, awesome. Everybody got that? Okay, tip number two. You wanna increase your vitamin D foods. So some foods that do have a little bit of vitamin D. 
It'll never be as much as, of course, natural sunlight exposure. But mushrooms, and mushrooms especially, if you buy them at the store, put them out in the sun, they actually increase, and this has been studied, increase their vitamin D content. Really interesting. Wild salmon, sardines, tuna, egg yolks, all have a little bit of vitamin D. Not a lot, but there's a little bit in there. So optimize your vitamin D from your diet. And, of course, tip number three, you can go with taking a high quality, that's the key here, high quality vitamin D3 supplement. Not a D2, a D3. Okay, that's really important in terms of absorption and make sure it's naturally sourced. The one that I take is made from sheep's wool lanolin because it's from natural sunlight hitting sheep's wool and increasing that vitamin D content. Okay, so we are going to be going to question number two. Is everybody ready? Okay, you guys know the drill. If you've been here before, this is question number two. You have the ability to win a prize. So we're playing for the vitamin D3 from our great sponsors at Vitatree. That was a great segue. <laughs> Sorry, Ooh, I'm getting fast behind the scenes here. All right, are we ready? Question number two, true or false, back pain is a symptom of low vitamin D. You've got 30 seconds on the clock. Let's go now. Everybody get your answers in, true or false, thank you. Got a Natalie? Yes, absolutely. I like your question, and the answer is yes. And I prefer vitamin K in, at closer to bedtime and vitamin D in the morning. I'm not answering this question. Yes, please share, please share. Everybody, awesome, awesome, awesome. Please make sure that you're sharing and subscribing. Okay, now, before we reveal this answer, true or false, I want everybody to hit that share button, okay? Can I have my a tablet again, please? I like to be like on top of where the numbers are. All right, are we almost there for our live goal? Yes, I hope so. I think we're almost there. Are we ready? Are we ready? Okay. Yes, thank you for hitting that share. I see so many shares coming in. Thank you so much for supporting today's live show. It's so much fun. And we have a special surprise coming up, so I'm super excited about that. Okay, are we ready? The answer, of course, is true. Yes, I think I saw only correct answers. That is amazing. So guess what, guys? We did amazing. We did super, super amazing, amazing. Thank you to all of you. Guess what? The surprise. We got there. We reached our live goal. Yay! I'm so excited. Good job, everyone. Oh, I'm going to lose all my battery packs and everything on the back. We've got a coupon code from Vitatree to save 5% store wide. So that is on the entire Vitatree website. Is this for real? Yeah, make sure you screenshot this because this is going to go away. This is going to go away. So screenshot it, jot down. Take a picture. I don't know what you need to do so that you've got that code. Memorize it if everybody has 231012. Valid for the first 100 customers. Oh, what? I'm getting in my, oh my. We're going to a higher percentage. Oh my goodness. We're going to a higher percentage? No way. Are you, you're kidding me. No, you're going to, okay. Vitatree is in the house. I told you today it was special. Look, I've got goosebumps. Oh my goodness. We're going to 10%. We're going to a 10% coupon. We're going to a 10% coupon. Oh my goodness. You guys are going to have to work for this one. We're going to go to a 10% coupon, please. <laughs> so this is not the, are we keeping the same coupon number though? The same coupon code. We're going to go to 10%, but we got to hit a higher goal. We got to get there guys. So please keep hitting that share button, the likes, the follows. If you're, of course you're already following, right? But yeah, we got to hit that share. Oh my goodness. It's crazy behind the scenes here. If you know what was happening. Yeah. All right. All right. Awesome. 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 Okay. Now, yeah, keep hitting that share. Keep hitting that share. We're going to 10% off. Okay, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, we're going to 10%. So keep hitting that share. Keep those likes coming in, the gifts or whatever you guys do behind the scenes. Keep hitting that share. Thank you so much. This is so much fun. I had, okay, uh, this, is, this is a lot of surprises. Surprises for me too. Okay, awesome, awesome. So I think we're going to the beauty set now. Yeah, so let's go to the beauty set. Because I know a lot of you have asked me about in terms of beauty, and we're going to come back to that coupon code if you're just tuning in. We're going to come back to that. We are in our beauty set. Don't you love it? It is so beautiful, isn't it? So here we're talking about under eye bags and puffiness. And this is, we will be having a couple, no, actually one more quiz question is coming up, so stay tuned for that. But this is a great hack if you do have those under eye bags, and that is to use castor oil. 
So castor oil penetrates very deeply in terms of oils. It's fantastic. And all you're going to do is put a little bit, and I'm not going to do it because I don't want to mess up my face. i got to be on TV tonight, so let's not do that. But all you're going to do at bedtime, so on clean, washed, beautiful skin, you're going to just take a little dab in your fingers, and you're just going to warm it up a little bit like this and go under the eyes and around and around. And this is all doing a little bit of acupressure at the same time. And I go about five times around the eye, helping to drain that lymph as well. And then I just go down with the castor oil and pat it down up here, where you may be getting some little fine lines and wrinkles as well. And you just pat it down and go to sleep. I actually, myself, rub it on my eyelids as well because it's great for vision. So that's another tip that's going to be coming up in another show. So let me know if you want to hear more about that. Put a one in the comments. But isn't that amazing? So is it's the best thing if you are prone to having puffiness under the eyes. Okay, so make sure that you're doing that. At bedtime, you'll absolutely love it. And guess what, guys? We are at quiz question number three. So if you're here for the first time, we always have different quiz questions throughout the show. You have the ability to win a prize from our great sponsors at VitaTree, who are super generous today, giving us surprises, giving me surprises even as well, because we've done so well with, of course, our shares and our likes and our follows and all those great things that are coming in and all the comments that you should help to share during the shows. Okay, are we ready? Here's quiz question number three. Which oil can you place on your abdomen at bedtime to help with belly fat? Okay, now this is coming from one of my posts. You got 30 seconds on the clock. We didn't talk about this specifically today, but I want to see who's been paying attention and who's been following and who's been watching the previous shows. Okay, I see a lot of people are answering very quickly. Okay, awesome. You've got 19 seconds left, get those answers in, and those shares are way up there. Keep sharing, please, and all those likes coming in as well. 10 seconds. Awesome, awesome job, everyone. And five, four, three, two, and one. I think I saw all correct answers. Okay, either everybody is like super smart or you've watched the content, and of course, the answer is castor oil. So if you've missed that post, congratulations everyone. If you missed that post, make sure that you check it out, okay? So yeah, oh my goodness, what an amazing half hour or so that we've been here, isn't it? Okay, so if you're just tuning in right now, we've talked about vitamin D today. We've talked about the back and disc pain, as well as how you can protect your back. So one of my favorite exercises and my my, oh, there it is, the kettlebell is there. And I shared one of my favorite exercises for strengthening the entire back, which is amazing. We also talked about, we will be going to the coupon, oh, we're going to the coupon code in just a second. So stay tuned for that. Yes, and please make sure that you keep hitting that share button, which is amazing. I know you've got questions. I'm gonna answer a few of your questions in just a second. We also talked about fatty liver today and how that impacts your vitamin D absorption. So that's really important. And we just came out of the beauty set and we talked about those baggy eyes under eye bags and darkness and dark circles under the eyes. The castor oil will actually help with that as well, which is amazing. So yeah, we are going to come back with that coupon code because guess what? Vitatree was in the house today, our great sponsor who supports this show and makes it possible in the first place. And they were generous enough. Okay, we're going over here to the coupon code. Now it's been up. So they started at 5%. We are at 10%. We did such a great job today, guys. And ladies and gentlemen, so thank you so much for tuning in. Congratulations. Screenshot that really quickly. It is going to go away very quickly. It's only going to the first 100 customers who use the code and then it will be gone. So make sure you're quick on that today, which is amazing. So I know, and I didn't get to your question. Thank you for all the follows, Tina, as well. Gary, thank you for tuning in. Lynn, thank you for participating. And David, yes, we are all super, super smart, aren't we? I know, amazing, amazing. All right, that is so great. So make sure you've got that. Again, the first 100 customers only, and go to that website and you will be able to use that code and use it quickly because it's going to go fast, okay? And especially for all of you, I mean, we've had thousands of people watching, which was amazing. Okay, so our next show, 
we're going to be talking about detox and why you need to detox seasonally, why that's so important. And it was so great to have you all here today. Thank you so much for tuning in. We, again, tune in next Tuesday at the same time. I always endeavor to help to teach you about your body and doing things naturally to empower you over the healing of your own mind, body, and spirit. It was so great to have you all here today. It was super exciting show. Make sure you screenshot that one last time so that you've got it so that, yeah, you can take advantage of that coupon code. Again, it's 10% off store wide. And with that code and for our first 100 customers that go and it's coupon code number 231012. So put in that coupon code on that website and you will be able to get and appreciate, you know, all of the goodness from that coupon code and what you're going to get there. Okay. So make sure, and that's from our great sponsor, VitaTree. We thank them so much for making the Dr. Jean show possible in the first place. All right. Thanks to VitaTree. Thank you to everybody who tuned in today and be well. Have a great week and we'll see you next time. Bye.